All right, guys. Uh, so we're up at Redbrush Racing this weekend, RC cars. Uh, I just found out my Legend car is ready to get picked up. So hopefully we'll have some Legend car racing, but I couldn't handle any more. I needed some form of racing to do. So um, I'm here racing at Redbrush this week with uh, uh, my Traxxas uh, Slash. I'm going to be racing in the Novice uh, group. Um, you know, I really want to like move up, but it's like money. I just don't know that I want to spend the money on a uh, RC car while I've got the Legend car going because it's it's not cheap. I mean, once you move up from the novice group, it, the money starts to add up. But it's still a lot of fun. Um, I spent a lot of time uh, already this morning in practice just trying to work on my steering speed and getting it to where I like it. Um, it's definitely muddy out here today. Uh, the ground's a little wet, but it just makes it... Uh, uh, a lot of fun. I mean, my car, you can see, is already caked up there. But um, hopefully we'll get that uh, handled and, and get out back on the track. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's going to be a good one. I'm going to get some drone shots, and I'm going to do some other shots of other people racing, too. And uh, should have a good time. So we're going to get into the video and uh, get you some racing action going. See you in a minute. Just to give you an idea of how wet it is out there, it's pretty gunked up. I need to uh, do some um, tightening the bolts and just shake the car out and get another battery in and get some more practice going. All right, guys. Still not having the best luck today. Uh, after changing the rear gear after issues, I uh, the batteries aren't lasting. And I only went from a 54 tooth to a 52 tooth, and I can't imagine that would eat up the battery that much. So I'm not sure what's going on, but I can't finish a race on the batteries uh, and everything. So we're just going to keep running and see what happens. And uh, hopefully the next few races will, will improve and do better. But right now I just can't even finish a race because of batteries. Chad, Trevor, Neo. Mine. <laughs> and Todd, remember drivers, you're racing your own clock. Somebody comes up on you and you're not racing for position. You're racing your own clock. Race two, you're next. Detroit, you're back to this one. Yeah, Todd, you're going to Jason Rubin, Bentley, Norm, Reed, Sandy, Chad, Neo, Trevor, Todd. You druggy, you're up in 316. Well, I just had my first heat. Uh, it was going pretty good. Actually, it wasn't. 
All right, let's start over. Let's start over. I just had my first heat. First of all, my GoPro that I charged overnight for some reason did not work, so I didn't uh, get a chance to record it. And then when I got uh, going, like I was doing pretty good. I didn't, I wasn't really connecting any laps together. So I, I wasn't doing that great, but I was getting around the track. It's definitely dried up since this morning. So it's just a little bit looser. And I, I spent a lot of time trying to adapt, but um, yeah, the car was, the car was just looser. Uh, I was running okay. But then at the end, the car just had no power. It wasn't going. It looked like it overheated or something. Uh, not quite sure, but I definitely had a red flashing light. So hopefully we'll get some video on the next one. I got a second GoPro here. So we'll get that going. Ruben, Reed, keep going, Neo. Norm Dunn, keep going, Neo. You're hey. For you. Trevor Dunn. Hey, watch out, I'm gonna hit the throttle. Is it spinning at all? Huh. All right. Hey, yeah. Not even homie. Yeah, it's not. That's weird. So here's the car. Uh, so basically, what I ended up with a, was a red flashing light here, which someone said that that means overheating. Uh, personally, I'm not 100% positive what that means, but uh, we'll get out there and give it another shot and see what happens. Um, it just is what it is. <laughs> Oh my 
god, she put it down there. Oh my god. All right, so I just finished my race. It did not go good. Uh, my pinion gear, the gear came off again. Um, so I think the number one thing I want to get through is, I mean, this is just like me racing my Legends car. Uh, you know, like I'm doing great, I'm having a good time, and the next thing you know, the car just doesn't run. And that's racing. And, um, you know, there's so much that, uh, a lot of correlation between this and, and big car racing. And I would say this, there, there, a lot of the things are the same. You know, I drive uh, or get up early morning, drive to the track, uh, set up my tent and easy up and everything and uh, get out there and practice, try to tune the car to make it better, try to tune the car to make it faster and do what I can. And, um, you know, then get out there and run races and, and run heats and run qualifying. It's just like racing the legend car. Um, and so the difference is I'm inside the legend car. But um, it is so much like racing real car, you know, like if you've been watching my series, you can see my Legends car has been breaking on me. I've been having tons of, of engine issues that have been causing me trouble and, um, and everything. So it, 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 in that aspect, it's almost identical, you know, like today, like the car just kept breaking on me. If it wasn't the uh, gears, it was the, I was having battery issues. I was just having all types of issues. And that's just, you know, that's like real racing. Um, if you watch my legend car, like I've had nothing but issues, had a great time, not knocking legend car or anything, but like I've had a lot of issues with the car and uh, it's been a real kind of pain in the butt sometimes and, and very frustrating. And, uh, but then again, here I come race a miniature car, car acts up the whole time. And, you know, it's very much the same. It's just nonstop problems um, and everything. Uh, the other thing is like one thing that like Legends car really made me realize was uh, with Legend racing, especially oval racing. Oval racing, there's way more setup than you would think there would be. Um, or it, 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 maybe you do know, maybe you watch racing and you know, but I think that's the number one thing I've learned with oval racing is there's so much more. The setup matters so much more than you would ever think. It matters a lot. Uh, the setup matters a ton. Because, you know, I could change my air pressure by a pound or two, and it makes a huge difference um, and, uh, and everything. And the same with out, out here. You change the caster or camber or the car, uh, and in some, it makes a huge difference. I think, and this is how my father got me into cars, was like I started RC racing. They got me a, a team-associated gold pan, and that's how I got into this. And... I would recommend anybody that has a kid that has a desire to race. Maybe you can't afford the cars because I couldn't. My family couldn't. That's how I, I had to wait till I'm in my late mid 40s before I could actually buy a race car and everything and, and make that dream come true. So this is a much, much cheaper form of racing to get someone into. Um, so I'd highly recommend it. Uh, you learn a lot. Like I said, you learn a lot about tuning. You learn about a lot about being frustrated. Um, yeah, there's a lot of correlations like between like, I know a lot of people, oh, this is a toy. I mean, a real race car is a toy. It's a toy. Uh, but I, I do get what people say that about like, oh, this isn't real racing. It's a, it's, you're racing a toy. But it's hey, it's set up. Like it's got, it's all the same stuff as uh, as racing a real car yeah, um, and everything. So I don't know. It's good. You meet a lot of great people. I've met a lot of great people doing RC cars. That was the main reason I even raced today was because there was a few people I just wanted to run into and say hey to and, and chill with I haven't seen in a minute and uh, and everything. And one thing difference about this was just like legend car and that racing is, you know, we're all kind of pit a little bit closer and everything. The other the other difference, big difference between this and like a, a legend car, people are more willing to help you versus the legend car because the setups are so valuable that people don't normally just share setups. And out here, like, 
oh man, you seem to be struggling here. Well, let me tell you what I do. Or maybe if you change this up, like there's, there's definitely more people working together and trying to help each other in this versus, versus the legend car. But I get it. Cause there's a lot of people like Josh Williams and several other teams out there that make a living off their setups, you know, knowing what to do and everything like that. And, uh, you know, legend car about the only help I could get was asking gear ratios for what tracks I could get people to help me with that. But, uh, yeah, people are pretty tight lipped. So versus this where people aren't, people are just willing to help left and right. Um, but yeah, I definitely would say this is something if you, if you have someone in your life that wants to get into racing or our hobby, the other thing that's nice about this, people don't really talk about this, but like, if you know someone that's got a disability that loves racing and maybe, you know, there's a lot of people, you see people that are paralyzed from the waist down racing and stuff nowadays, but I know the money for that's got to be expensive, but I feel like someone with a disability could do this a, a little bit easier than any other series of racing. And it gives them that, that drilling. I tell you, like I get the same adrenaline is different. It's a different adrenaline because there's definitely something different about being in the car and racing. But I definitely, I definitely get that nerve before the race starts and everything. And um, so, yeah, like a young kid or maybe somebody with disability that doesn't have the ability to race a regular car. Man, I'm a big fan of, of the RC stuff and would highly recommend it and everything. Young kids and everything. Now, there's a mom out here. Uh, not mom yet, but soon to be mom out here racing. Uh, and stuff so yeah i definitely just think it's a a great thing to start kids out well with and it's it's like i says it was the first place i learned how to wrench on a car and everything so um how i recommend it uh red brush does a great facility this is a great track um they've got nice communications here and and everything i don't know if you could hear it like the the marshal talking while i'm i'm setting this up but uh, yeah, this is a great a great track to come to. Uh, there's a nice little river right over here. I know you can't see it on the camera, but like right over here, our stream, creek, whatever you want to call it. But I went down there, played with, saw some frogs and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is a great facility. I really appreciate uh, the people that own Red Brush and the people that operate it and everything. So I want to give a big shout out and thanks to them. But you know, uh, Hopefully we might do some more RC car racing. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm like a little bit over the slash. The slash uh, causes me uh, a lot of headaches. I know I'll never win a race because even in the novice group, there's a lot of people out there with uh, uh, faster, much faster, newer cars. They're just novice like I am. And so the slash is just way behind. I've had to do a lot to make it handle even the way it does. So um, yeah, I just don't know if I want to spend the money to move up to a nicer car. Um, that's why I'm trying two to decide down, down, if I want to spend the money for it. Because I have a lot of hobbies. Um, I play. I like playing golf, you know. I, uh, I like mountain biking. Uh, I've got the legend car. I do sim racing. Double, so a lot of it is like, you see in my videos, I talk about money a lot. A lot of it is about money. And frankly, I, you know, I need to buy two sets of tires coming up soon for my legend car. A race uh, for oval and, a, and for road, uh, road racing. And that's, that's not going to be cheap. And, you know, getting the car wrap, that's not going to be cheap. So a lot of this just, it costs money. And uh, buying a legend car, uh, 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 RC hey, car, Hunter, Michael, you know, I'm thinking about buying used new. Like when I calculated buying everything, chargers and everything, I was looking at like two grand. So, um, you know, maybe buying used and stuff might be a better deal and, and going cheaper. All right, I got some kid trying to get my video now. <laughs> uh, uh, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe that's maybe buying used and continue to do it because it's great when you don't have like a real race or a real race. I, I hate saying that, but like when I'm not in the car racing like my legend car, this is a great thing to do on the weekend. It's fun. It got me outside and everything. So, yeah, it's just a matter of spending money and, and where you want to spend money and how much money you want to spend. So, um, it is what it is. But anyway, uh, appreciate you watching the video, guys. Uh, once again, thank you to Red, Br uh, Red Brush people that are putting this on. Uh, check out midlifeclassiccars.com. We have a lot of racing books. I got a ninja in the background with a sword. Uh, but yeah, check out midlifeclassiccars.com. We ship all of our books in boxes once again so they don't get damaged. 
and everything. We've got a lot of new, brand new books uh, just now coming out, and we're heading into Christmas time, so check out for Christmas and everything like that. But anyway, I hope everyone had a good one, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.